Hey everybody, Chris White here with Austin Custom Brass and today we are talking trombone mouthpieces. All right, what I wanted to do with you all today is talk about our offerings for um, trombone mouthpieces. These can also be used uh, very effectively on euphonium as well. So um, we encourage you to, to check that out too, all you euphonium players. Um, we'll go over kind of the different sizes and uh, the couple different shank offerings that we do today. And I'll uh, play a couple of them today as well. And uh, we'll let you let you just kind of hear them and just, just Give you a little more information about them and let you get to know the line a little bit. Um, so first off, for our large shank offerings, the numbers that we have available for large shank are 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 5.1, and 6. So the bottom number represents our largest mouthpiece. So like our 2 and our 3 are really designed to be bass trombone mouthpieces. Um, when you get into the four, um, that's kind of more typical of what you would find tenor trombonists playing. Um, so the four, the five, the 5.1, and the six each represent something that you would find more used on tenor trombones. Our five, for instance, is modeled, it's probably our most popular one so far, and it's modeled after like the like a Bach 5G as far as like the, the specifications and um, the size and, and, and dimensions. Um, our six is uh, similar in scope to like a six and a half AL. So it's also a very popular one. Now on our small shank side, the largest one we actually offer on a small shank side would be like our five. And we um, delineate these by putting an S at the end of them. So it's like our five S. Um, and then we have a 5.1 S as well. And then a six S. And so those three numbers can actually be found in both small shank and large shank. So, um, for instance, in my own personal playing, um, I own uh, our Chagrill, uh, car a horn that we carry here, a Chagrill James Morrison horn. That's a medium bore horn, but it takes a small shank mouthpiece. And so I end up using like a five, our 5S in that particular horn, if I'm in a um, more classical setting or like a brass quintet or something, where I need a little bit more robust sound, um, but don't, I am not wanting to particularly use like a large bore tenor for it. It's a great, it's great for like shows if you're ever playing um, like uh, in a pit orchestra or something and need to be able to like maybe have some beefier low notes and things like that. Um, we off, we like to have our 5S and our 5.1S as kind of bigger options for the small bore, um, small, small shank uh, trombone players. Um, the six, for instance, is also a crossover, the six and a half AO. We also offer that in a large shank and then of course a small shank. Um, it's, you never know whenever you might be in a situation where you have a big horn, but you've been, you know, tasked with having to, to kind of belt out some lead sounds uh, from a, a jazz type genre. And so something that's a little bit smaller mouthpiece might help you with that. So. Anyways, but that's that's where the crossover happens. Five, five point one, and then the six are represented in both. And then the numbers just continue to go up from there on the small shank side, and they just continue to get smaller all the way up to a nine S um, is a, the smallest mouthpiece that we carry. So um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about those, but then also just kind of play a little bit for you. So the first one I'm going to play is our um, two. The biggest bass bone mouthpiece we carry and I'm going to play it on our actually the new Adams bass trombone uh, so I hope you like that. I'm going to adjust the levels real quick and give you a little show of that. All right, so that was our ACB2 
Um, it's, as I said, it's currently the biggest model that we carry. Um, we also have the ACB3, which is a little bit, a little bit um, less big, <laughs> a little bit smaller than that one, but still pretty sizable um, for use in, in bass trombone applications. Uh, the other mouthpiece I'm gonna play for you is our 7S. Um, so this would be, this is a really popular one that we've noticed with folks that are um, playing in uh, small jazz groups or playing lead in, in a jazz band and really needing that punch and that zing to their sound. So here's the 7S. All right, so hopefully that gives you kind of a taste of, of sort of two ends of the spectrum. And then of course we have everything in the middle. So um, check out our web store. We've got all the mouthpieces on there. And uh, if you can't remember all the numbers from me telling you today, uh, the, we have a, a handy dandy mouthpiece chart that will tell you which numbers we offer, but also kind of some of their equivalents um, out in the world so that uh, you can make a decision and, 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 you know, be informed as much as possible. So, uh, as always, if you ever have any questions, feel free to email us, call, call us. We're here and, uh, ready to answer any questions you have. Thanks so much.